I'm making an Enderman that steals body parts. Why? Because I coded your ideas in Minecraft and I reluctantly agreed to do it. Okay, there's just one problem. I have no idea where to start with this. I mean, if an Enderman takes my body, what happens to my head? Does it just kind of drop down? Oh, and, and if it takes my arm uh, and then disappears, it, uh, uh, what? And if my entire body just kind of gets taken apart, do I ever come back together? <laughs> I've got so many questions and not enough answers. All right then. Let's, uh, let's get to work, shall we? Well, it's in game now, and it's time to have our questions answered. Okay, I don't, oh gosh, I don't know how this works. So, do I look at him? Oh. Oh, oh no! He took my arm, give it back! How do I get it back? My head! Uh, give me my arm, is that my leg? It's, he took my leg. Give me my leg back. How do I get my, oh. Oh no. So after testing around, I decided to see just how far this could go. Okay, I've gotta know what happens if I just, oh my God, more, I have multiple legs. Oh no, M my legs are both missing now. <laughs> well, there goes both my arms. What have I become? <laughs> Who's gonna take the body? It finally happened. I am just sleeves. <laughs> I don't I, I don't know how to get my my head back. When I rejoin, it's, it's um, well, it's been nice knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> I am but a shadow on the floor. <laughs> okay, I got this comment to soak my food into potions and make it soggy. Ew. If you prefer soggy food, why not just eat cereal? But okay, I think we'll do this using a cauldron. I kind of have an idea. Oh, ah. Uh. Well, we've got to fix that. Okay, so my idea involves a cauldron, but we're going to need a few things. Okay, let's see. We're going to need a potion, but what kind of potion would you pick? There are so many options. And then, of course, we need a food. Perfect. Okay, let's get this culinary adventure started. We're just going to put this golden carrot in this water. Perfect. And now we're going to take our uh, potion of harming and uh, just put it in the cauldron. And of course, while you wait, this is a perfect time to play catch with your son. Or of course, finally take care of the grass. It's getting a little tall. And before you know it, boom, it's ready. Oh, okay. Uh, a bewitched golden carrot. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Mm -hmm. Red Ruby said to make a potion that makes your head become a controllable balloon. Okay, so how do you want this to work? It just it just like <laughs> My head inflates and then I become a balloon and then I can control it. Okay, so I get it now It's it's like inflation. Oh, would you look at that? It's all ready to go and we've got arrows. We've got uh, 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 Lingering all right, let's uh, let's just oh god. Well here goes nothing. Oh uh Oh, oh, whoa, oh, <laughs> my head, <laughs> it's, oh my gosh, I'm like a jellyfish, this is awesome, oh, it's so beautiful, okay, um, I'm, I'm a little concerned, there's no way to go down, ah, uh, oh my god, no, 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 uh-oh, uh oh no, am I falling, I don't, oh no, I'm, I'm definitely falling, water, 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 water. no, no, I'm not gonna say much other than this comment wants me to add a buff turtle. So here we go. Get ready for the best thing that you've ever seen <laughs> in Minecraft. You know, I agree. I think this is definitely the direction Minecraft needs to be going in. Let's do it. This idea is so powerful, it crashed my game. That's a good sign. Mm, if I were a turtle, where would I be? Nah, forget it. I can't wait. Let's just mine one off camera. Oh boy. Oh, oh. Why aren't you buff? Do you even lift, bro? Obviously not. Okay, something, something, something's not right about this. I don't know why. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> why do you walk on your legs? Oh, and he's got the shield. Oh my gosh. How do I get one of those shields? Are... Uh -huh. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's super scary. He walks slow until he gets close enough. Then he runs. All right, I've got to know. Does he swim? Oh no, no. <laughs> He's not that good of a turtle. Ferretwolf95 said to take away all of the senses of Minecraft, but one. What does that mean? Well, as it turns out, my developer friend Ludocrypt already did that. Okay, this is what my world looks like currently. And, and this is what it... Oh. <laughs> this is what it looks like when I can only see and detect motion. If I don't move, it's completely dark. And as you can see, there is a wolf 
running right in front of me, but I can't see. Oh my gosh. Now, I'm no challenge channel, but I would assume that uh, this is probably a pretty difficult thing to beat Minecraft in. <laughs> At least you could see your inventory. <laughs> I mean, just imagine at nighttime. I'm assuming that was a creeper. I. <laughs> okay, I'm currently in spectator mode. And, uh, well, yeah, you're reading that right. I I'm in the end currently. No. Where'd you go? No, 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 no. I don't like it. Oh no! This comment wants a mob that protects the end portal. Okay, but hear me out. We're probably not getting an ancient dimension for Minecraft 1.19. And I know this looks like a gateway to another dimension. Well, what about the warden? What is the warden protecting? <laughs> I'll show you. What if the end portal room was covered in this sacred stone? Psh, well, that's easy. I could just mine right through it. <clears throat> well, that's where you're wrong. You can't mine through it. Because I made it so that you can't you can't break it. And that brings us back to the ancient city. There are chests everywhere. No. Ah, oh, there it is. And as you can see, there is a stronghold key. I wonder what we do with this. Don't get me wrong. Your idea was great, but instead of adding a new mob, let's just make the most of what we've got. With the power of this stronghold key, the only way I can get into this stronghold structure by right clicking it <laughs> as you can see oh i still have the key and as you can see now we can go right in and of course it just i don't have any ender pearls so but that's okay because i just got this comment challenging me to make in portals craftable in the best way possible however in order to craft an in portal one must first go to oh god <laughs> go to the end why am i putting myself in danger that's a great question if you look down there you can see i have put an ore beneath the end city okay in order to break this you're gonna want to be very careful and also have a pickaxe that isn't going to take forever to break oh Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, this is Interstellate Ore, and what was supposed to happen is it drops this item here. And now we can craft one of those end portals. Oh, but wait, we're missing one more item. Okay, the final piece of the puzzle is hidden in this end city, but I don't really feel like doing this, so... Oh, oh, you gotta love Super Mario teleportation. Look, there's a chest around here somewhere, don't mind me. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, end city loot is normally kind of bland. I mean, sometimes it's good, but this time... Oh, this time... We got a keystone. We're ready to go. And just like that, we're able to craft one in portal frame. Let's see. Now we, we just need to do that. Let's see, three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12. Like nobody said it would be cheap. Jabicus Walkie Talkie Sockenbop for 48, because the other 47 were taken, says to make evil Scarecrow. Let me show you why that's a bad idea. It's not that I don't think Scarecrow shouldn't exist. I mean, more uses for the pumpkin would be great. We added Scarecrows to our vanilla Minecraft server a long time ago. But making evil Scarecrows? That's a different story. Because in a way, we did that too. <gasps> Oh, no, 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 no. What is that? No, no, why? No, why would you want this? No, 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 no. Why, why, why? Throw an egg, and if you get baby chickens, they follow you. You know what? I stand by this idea. I, I think this is smart. I mean, why not just have uh, uh, baby... Oh, <laughs> you're a little persistent. Oh, I can already tell I'm gonna like this. We're not gonna get anywhere with just one, so bring on the chicken. Make way, my chickens. Make way for the boss. Okay, this is great, but I think we could make it even better. <laughs> if I get attacked by any mob in Minecraft, maybe these chicken will be my backup. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh. Oh! <laughs> oh, slow down, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're relentless. No, no, oh! Okay, now that some of them are grown up, I added another feature. But I'm gonna need an iron bar or, well, really any item for this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where is it? Give me the iron bar. Thank you. Yep, thank you. I appreciate it. Go get it. Go get it. Oh, thank you. I got a comment to add a netherman for the nether. But why though? Okay, your obsession with the Enderman is, uh, it's kind of concerning me. We added the Skulk Enderman in the last episode and you're already ready to do this again? <sighs> okay, fine. All right, you asked for it. <clears throat> yeah. 
Uh, shout out to Soli for making this, um, this thing. It's in game now, but instead of it setting you on fire whenever you get hit, I have a different idea. But first, let's take you to the nether where you belong. Huh. Something tells me our new nether friend has been here before. <laughs> yep. <laughs> As you can see, it sets a path to fire, which, you know, is always cool. And it has some sick dance moves. But I want to make this actually scary. So whenever you look at it, you get set on fire. <laughs> and also, oh, gee, oh. Oh, no, where'd he go? Oh, okay, back to the drawing board. Something's not right with that. Um, as you can see, I could just kind of keep doing that. And he's facing away. So, you know. That's threatening, but I think you get the point. Debicus Walkie Talkie Sockenbopper 47. Hey, look at that. Set to update mob spawners. Okay, well, there's a few ways we could do that. And yeah, as you guessed it, we uh, we already did on Origin Rooms. <laughs> of course, one way to do it is to update the structure. Well, this is pretty snazzy if I do say so myself. Very different. Ow, 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 ow. Of course, a dungeon isn't complete without a spawner. And we've also placed a couple of chests with some interesting traps. And if we run to the other side, ow, ow. Now, it's the same thing. Even more dungeons. Only this time, this one is a maze. Oh, I don't I don't know if I like mazes. And judging by the web, I think uh, this is definitely a spider one. Ooh, a chest. No, would you look at that? There's another one. But how am I going to get over there? <laughs> ah, there we are. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, the cobweb. <laughs> My point is, there are so many ways you could update the structure. But what about the spawner block? How about if you break a Sp oh, if you break a sp oh, okay, there. <laughs> if you break a spawner, you have a chance of getting a spawner fragment. And then by killing a mob, you have a chance of getting a mob soul. I mean, after all, you guys have always wanted a way to craft your very own spawners and bring them back to your base. What do you say we give this a shot? <gasps> Andrew the Gamer said, Ch well, they just kind of said chest house. So, okay, okay, okay. I, th I think I understand. That's a chest. Yeah. Uh, okay, it, it, am I, am I doing this right? Okay, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, oh no, chest wall, um, what, I just, I, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. Storage room.